Uh, hi guys, uh, can you hear me? Can everyone hear me in the room? Okay, so uh, today I'll be talking about two things. Uh, the first is contributing to WordPress, and the second one would be why is it important to your business? I saw it start. Um, when I grew up without a computer, so I find it ironic and it's also a blessing to be working in a tech company. Um, and just a few weeks ago, I celebrated my one year anniversary working for that company. And uh, until now, uh, I think almost over a year, I, I've been living in Japan. And until now, um, I'm still, still overwhelmed about a lot of things. I knew everything because I dive into a new job. Uh, I dive into an exciting culture of Japan and also the culture of open source. And how these three things uh, change my, my life and how it influenced my career, I will share with you today. When I got into a company related to WordPress, um, I learned many things, and one of those is the passion for open source. But besides this passion for open source, uh, or passion for WordPress, um, what else does it take to contribute to WordPress? Is it really necessary to contribute? You guys know this character, I suppose. You guys have one of this right here. Um, as you can see, this is something I'm not. And um, besides being, besides having a fear of sharks, I'm also scared of word camps or local meetups because uh, I'm not techy. But um, I guess it's still na it's natural that when you're still starting, I think it's still it's natural that um, you get scared at first. And when I attended my first word camp in Japan, uh, I met so many people of different tech levels and I did not feel so scared anymore. I did not feel so alone anymore. And that's where I realized that besides um, being a developer or not, there are many ways to contribute to WordPress. And, sorry, uh, because each one of us has his or her own strengths. Uh, whether it's writing or speaking or developing themes and plugins, uh, we can use that strength to take advantage of contributing. Uh, who was in WordCamp San Francisco last year? Okay, a lot of hands, thank you. Um, so uh, last year in WordCamp San Francisco, Matt mentioned something about Five for the Future, and it's um, contributing 5% 5% of your company's resources uh, to WordPress. And I think uh, for something to continue to be successful, just, just like WordPress, uh, continue to be successful 20 years from now, 30 years from now, um, there must be a strong community of contributors behind it. So now we, are, um, we came to the point of the two stories. Uh, I will use uh, my team's contribution to WordPress and the impact of that to the business. Uh, so this is the team uh, founded in 2006 with only a couple of people and one belief that open source will create a better uh, world or a happier world. Um, so this 14 people, uh, majority are engineers or uh, developers except for me, but the whole team uh, are, is a team of WordPress contributors. What we do is we work 100% remotely and um, we are also 100% dedicated to WordPress and open source. Who's working remotely here, by the way? Just out of curiosity. Okay, that's a lot, thank you. Uh, this is our business model. It's uh, WordPress on Amazon Web Services. Uh, why we use this platform or why we use this business model is uh, our WordPress ideas are quickly turned into WordPress services uh, because uh, the other platform or the com combination of the two platforms uh, gives us the flexibility that we need for our development. And um, uh, even though we are a small team, as you can see, we're only 14 in the team. Uh, even though we're a small team, uh, Amazon or WordPress also gives us the ability that even though we're a small team, uh, we can handle huge enterprises or our, our, better cli our bigger clients and uh, huge results. Uh, so, sorry about that. Um, I'm sorry, um, English is not my first language, so uh, let me know if I, if I get my mes message across or not. All right. Um, okay. So in, in our company, this is our um, uh, growth strategy. Uh, we believe that many businesses can take advantage of this uh, growth cycle. So let's move on to the first part. Um, who here has contributed to the core of WordPress? Wow, thank you so much. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. 
Um, so far, this is what we, we, we did. Um, and we want to help with the core for every release as well. Uh, recently, um, the two people in the Japanese uh, translation team are my, are my team members. And uh, re recently, it was featured in WP Tavern. So you can check it uh, later on. Um, for businesses to keep moving forward, uh, we need motivation and inspiration. And it's also a nice feeling uh, that you, you're able to contribute your skills in keeping the WordPress core awesome. Uh, when, when WordPress was translated in Japanese, uh, we were able to appreciate WordPress even more because we understand it in our native language. Um, as a result, there's a rapid increase in Japanese users and also the, there's a growth in Japanese developers and, and there's also an increase in, in Japanese market. Uh, also, since WordPress is available or accessible in multiple languages, for us in Japan, we are able to think of our business in, a, in an international sense or in a global scale. Another contribution is, is WordCamp, attending WordCamps or speaking at WordCamps and also the local community. Um, who here has spoken in WordCamp before or local meetups? Okay, th that's a lot, thank you. Um, I hope you agree with me on this one, that many, uh, that traveling opens your eyes. Do you, do you agree that traveling opens your eyes? Thank you. Um, the same thing goes <laughs> for being in a WordCamp, I guess. And uh, uh, so far, uh, Brisbane is our 49th, uh, how do I say this, 49th time to speak in a WordCamp. But besides uh, being a speaker in WordCamp or local meetups, I, I guess uh, another, or in addition to that, we can also mentor or even sponsor uh, WordCamps and even do hands-on trainings as well, or volunteer in local activities. Mm, I'm just curious, how do you call um, the local meetup in Brisbane? WordPress Meetup? In Brisbane, <laughs> okay. So we have that version as well in Japan, and it's called a World Bench. Uh, you can check it. You can check it online. And also, um, World Camp, uh, World Camp Kansai is happening in a few months. So if you will come to Japan, we would be happy to have you there. Okay. Now these two. What what are the impact of that to business? Uh, when you stand in front of an audience, uh, when you volunteer your time in an event like this one, uh, you teach what you know and you inspire others and, and share your knowledge. As a result, you're, um, uh, you are helping the community grow larger and uh, the, the, the developer users are increased as well, including um, when you stand also in front of an audience, uh, there's a possibility that there would be an increase in brand awareness. Uh, in events like this, you meet others and you let others meet you. What do I mean by give life? Probably not to babies, but uh, give life to the person behind the, get, the gravatar. And uh, when you attend word camps, you get recognized in events and you become the face of your company. Um, give, you give life to, to new ideas and you give life to um, new ideas to yourself and new ideas for others. Uh, who is a plugin developer in this room? Okay, thank you. Would love to talk to you later. All right. Um, are you familiar with, with Contact Form 7? Okay. Uh, so, uh, Contact Form is a customizable contact form. Uh, also, um, this is called uh, Customizer Theme Resizer plugin. Uh, recently, it's featured also in WP Tavern. And what it does, it, it gives you a live preview of your site on various devices. So it eliminates the need to go back and forth and adjusting your design. These two plugins is an example. Um, what, what is the impact of that to the business? Um, we, if, since it was um, uh, published in the, the official dire directory of WordPress, uh, how do you say it? The WP official plug? Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Uh, we were able to gain technical trust from the community and from the current clients and also the future ones. Um, because of that, um, customization and development consultations started to come from uh, Japan and also from other countries. 
And there's also an increased interest in, in our plugins as well. Um, a lot of you have, uh, a lot of you were raised your hands when I asked who's a plugin developer in this room, and I think you would agree that when you, um, when you develop plugins, you learn. You, your development skills improve, and um, learning always has a positive impact to your business, because when you learn, you grow and your company grows with you. How about theme developers in the room? Okay, hi. All right, so this one is, uh, is underscore S. If you're familiar with this, it's a WordPress starter theme. 99% um, of our work is related to WordPress and we wanted something that can automate theme development process. So we came up with this idea of EMOTO. It's a WordPress underscore, a WordPress starter theme based on underscore S that's integrated with Grunt in it and SAS Compass and Gulp. But uh, with EMOTO, uh, our development became even faster and it, it makes our work, our work more efficient. So uh, with, the, with, the, with years of experience and skills, we thought of an idea so of a modern way of developing WordPress. So why don't we do it uh, JSON REST API template style? And so Media Assembly Kit was born. Uh, it's a web media developing framework that you can find on, on Git, GitHub. I'm sure a lot of you have your own uh, preferences in development environment and hosting. Uh, most of our projects are WordPress related, so we wanted a convenient WordPress development environment that is also useful for collaboration. So um, my colleague uh, came up with the uh, initial code for VCCW. It's a vagrant configuration for WordPress sites, plugins, and themes development. It's also vagrant based. We wanted to use WordPress on Amazon Web Services more easily because that's our business model. Uh, we wanted infrastructure as code or a programmable infrastructure. So uh, being in the industry for almost 10 years, uh, we, were, we were able to refine our skills and development and uh, together we joined forces and uh, the result is Amimoto. Now the impact of that to business, majority of my colleagues are engineers and developers, so we wanted an environment that's friendly for our developers as well and has the performance that can pass the standards of our engineers. Um, what it is, it's a pre-configured OS and virtual app software uh, combining HHVM, Nginx, and uh, MySQL tuning and WPCLI. Uh, the code is on GitHub, we, we uh, open it to the public and uh, users saw that and they thought they wanted an environment like this one. So what started as a company tool became a business idea and this was the turning point for us. I'm down to the summary, I guess it's a quick talk. Um, when you uh, contribute, um, you should, I, I guess uh, everyone would agree in this room that open source code is, is the best one. Uh, when you contribute, it shows your community spirit. Uh, businesses engaging in, in WordPress should not forget to be sensitive or considerate to the needs of the community um, because our strong community is the foundation of WordPress. Uh, continue to maintain the sites or continue to develop plugins, uh, themes, uh, speak and organize meetups like this one and uh, continue to localize and make, make, the, make WordPress even more accessible. Uh, don't stay still and keep moving forward or keep swimming. Uh, in the business of WordPress and open source, we, we learned that it's not about the money, but it's about the people that you meet and the friends that you make. Because um, sorry. Uh, when you contribute to WordPress, you learn about the culture and culture is the most important thing on how new innovations come to life. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do we have any questions, Raquel? Thanks for the talk. It was a really great insight. And in fact, uh, I'm actually from Drupal community rather than WordPress, but it's good to see how uh, uh, the community emerging where it's heading. So my question is more about uh, 
I guess, Japanese market okay. and Asian market in general because I originally come from Russia. Mm -hmm. And the general business perspective on a website might be completely different from what we have here now in Australia. Mm -hmm. So uh, websites are not perceived as a leading force for the business such as, and uh, you might agree that a lot of sites in Japan are also very hard to use, especially for non-Japanese speakers, uh, having text as the images and a lot of that stuff. So you actually work in Japan as a mm -hmm. WordPress developer, and can you give us a bit more, uh, I guess, idea of how open source tools like WordPress have been accepted or rejected, or what's the actual perspective um, that in where you work? Thanks. Okay. Um, if I understood the question correctly, it's about the how open people are in terms of WordPress and open source in Japan. Okay, um, um, it's incredible to see uh, a lot of uh, emerging developers and also users in Japan. Um, they are pretty much open to this and also with collaboration. You mentioned something about um, how easy or how difficult it is to use WordPress or other sites in Japan, especially when you don't speak the language. Um, I guess now because uh, we're having more uh, meetup groups in Japan and more word camps in Japan, people now understand that when we translate our sites from, for example, Japanese to English or other languages, um, it, it helps the, the business grow and uh, there are more users who can definitely use the site, so meaning uh, more clients. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Another question? No? Thank you, Dirk. Well, look, I just want to say, Kelly, you've obviously traveled a long way to be here to speak, so it's, uh, it's been great. Thank Thank you very you so much. much. Uh, and uh, you just please give her another uh, round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just wondering, um, when it comes to the clients that you work with, have you ever seen your clients also contribute back? Um, do you need to do a lot of explaining to them about open source? Do they care? Or? Um, I majority of our clients are Japanese, and uh, in Japan we have what it's called uh, omotenashi. It's it means um, endless hospitality. Uh, there's no not really a uh, an English. Uh, translation for that, I would say. Um, yeah, when you when you give to your clients, when you serve your clients, uh, they are very happy to uh, help you back as well. For example, um, uh, uh, I think that was last week. Uh, we wanted a survey from from our client, and and they're happy to do that. And I guess um, uh, not only a, a survey that they would be happy to do, but um, I guess even more than that. Did, did I answer your question? I, just, I guess just one more. Um, what is the open source, like open source communities like in Japan? Is it something that, you know, has it kind of got itself into mainstream or what's the general scope of that? Um, yeah, the open source uh, community in Japan is uh, very large. I, I was uh, really impressed by it. Um, there are also subgroups that are also huge, like uh, more specific like for a specific language, like uh, just a PHP group or uh, another group. Um, is it does it answer your question? Thank you. Okay, thank you.